The name Paul Anthony is a familiar one to music lovers because of his work with the Grammy Award winning group Full Force. They had many hits in the 80s and 90s and made a splash on the big screen as well. Paul Anthony is singing a different tune these days and he joins us now from a Washington DC bureau to talk more about it. Thank you so much for joining us. Good to see you. Oh, it's a blessing to be here. Good morning. Good day to you. I see that you've got a new song. It's called I Feel Good, I Look Good, I'm God Good. Tell us about it. Oh, it's a wonderful, wonderful song uh, that uh, I wrote while I was um, transitioning between various stages of becoming the cancer champion that I am. And um, uh, while uh, people would come visit me, they would say, uh, Paul, Alan, how you feel? I said, Paul, uh, I said, I'm on some. I feel good. Even if I didn't feel good, that's what they were getting. I said, Paul, I feel good. I said, well, Paul, you know, you, you look good. I said, well, that's because I'm God good. And uh, I just wrote that during the process, you know, because I knew when, not if, when he transitioned me over, there was a purpose to fulfill. So I was just moving like it was already done. And uh, all full force, we've always been that way. My brother, uh, Bold Legged Lou, Be Fine, Cousins, Baby Jerry, Kurt, and Shy Shy. Full force has always been spiritual on all our albums. There's always something to the Father. Now we just all the way in the deep end. You Beautiful. know, before I was just sort of wading in the water <laughs> by the ankles. Now I'm all the way in the deep end, so it's a blessing. Walking in the deep. Tell me about that process. It was 2006, you were diagnosed with cancer? Yeah, yeah, it was 2006. And, um, you know, uh, I was just training, working out, and my training partner and life brother, Colin Brigand, who was a, a nurse, and he's noticed a lump in my neck. And I didn't even feel anything. And that's it. Cancer's a silent killer, as we all know. And uh, I didn't feel it. But um, when I went to have it diagnosed, uh, they said it seems to be consistent with mantle cell lymphoma, which is an incurable disease. It's not hereditary. It's acquired, an injury, what have you. And, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a life-threatening disease. So uh, right then, I started working within myself, you know, because it starts from within. And I started working, not waiting for when I got to the doctors, because we have to be our own doctor. I started working within spiritually, tying the mind, body, and spirit together, and uh, knew that it was going to be a journey, which it was. But uh, that's when it was first diagnosed. And uh, we got it uh, under submission. We had it in remission for a while. And then five years later, it came back, as cancer does, much stronger, much more aggressive. Uh, and that treatment resulted in injuring my bone marrow, thus resulting in MDS, my my dysplastic syndrome, and then acute myeloid leukemia. And that's when uh, it got real interesting. That's when the doctor said, you're fighting for your life. But throughout all, I just stayed in higher balance because I've always been that way. And I use the same tools I use in the gym when I'm training, just mm -hmm. transport that energy and tie in and pull God in. And uh, plus the love you get from your family, my brothers, my wife, Michelle, my mother, my friends, uh, people in the industry, it's a blessing. But uh, it's a, it, was, it was a journey. Wow, I imagine you also relied heavily upon the word during that time too. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It starts there. It started there. And I would often have conversations with them. The doctors and the nurses, they would listen outside of my room and they're like, yeah, he's talking awfully loud, but, but he's by himself. They didn't know. No, I was not, you know, but I like to speak things into existence and have outward conversations with the father. So, uh, you know, he gives his toughest battles to his toughest warriors. You know, that's all I can say. Wow. What would you say to people like yourself who may be going through that now and aren't necessarily as strong? You have to uh, really, it, it's powerful, but the mind is such a powerful, powerful tool. And you have to walk and think and move like it's already done. Uh, and sometimes you don't have to be as powerful, as strong as me or the next person, but you have to think like, you know, okay, when I get past this, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. Oh yeah, let me take care of this because I know when this is over, I gotta do that. You have to think and move like it's already done. That's the most simple tool you can use that's there to your availability. Mm -hmm. that's, uh, then there's a lot of other things you can do. Just don't wait. The, the phrase to Paul Anthony, Live Life, Give Life Foundation is 
The cancer survivor walks the earth, but the cancer champion conquers the world. So you have to think that you're a champion, not just a survivor, but you're a champion. You're doing it. You're moving it. And, and that's, the, that's the first thing. And then there's a host of things that, when you go to my website, we can interact and talk. But that's the first thing I would say. You started a foundation for people who are going through and battling cancer, correct? Absolutely, absolutely, and that's and, and uh, that's another uh, phrase I teach people. Um, you know, proactivation times integration equals eradication. You have to be proactive with your health. You have to be proactive and be your own doctor. Don't just wait, and then have a integrative mindset, an integrative lifestyle. Sometimes it's not this or that; it's this and that. While the doctor is doing that, you can get the love from your family. You can do acupuncture. You can. Uh, I did meditation, tai chi always prayer and you have all these things you put them all together and that's how you can eradicate disease because we have to deal with cancer of the body cancer of the mind and cancer of the spirit mm. and through my foundation we're going to take care of all of that beautiful beautiful i want to get back to the music real quick i know that there is a yeah. music video with this and you've got some big names like will smith quincy jones donnie yeah. mcclurkin how on earth did you get all of them to be involved in this well you know uh, the, the, the album is based on love. It's about love. That's why on that song, I start, love's in need of love today for every man, woman, girl, and boy. You can look outside and find happiness. You've got to look within to find joy. It's about love. And we've always given that out, all our career. So um, when I decided to go public with this, and it was a conscious decision with the family, uh, everybody was surprised because I've been uh, a bodybuilder and a fitness enthusiast all my life. So it was shocking, but it was important to know that anyone, it can happen to anyone. So when I knew I was transitioning through a certain stage, I said, okay, let's call. Let's just reach out. And that's it. Because of how we are, we was able to just go to anybody and everybody and ask for the love. There's still a lot of friends that are uh, that are there for us when we need them. So it was a blessing, man. I'm so I'm so honored and blessed. Before I let you go, real quick, what's next? Oh man, what's next? Well we got a lot of things coming up. Um, we're going to be uh, through uh, my partnership with the Favor One LLC where honoring a lot of black entrepreneurs that's been doing a lot of things in their community. So we're going to be going to various states, starting here. As a matter of fact, I may have to get an apartment here in Washington <laughs> because I'm going to be coming through a lot of time. Um, uh, I was blessed last night with Pastor LaWanda Gray uh, at her church. Uh, it was wonderful, the Lions of um, Judah uh, Temple. And um, so we're doing that. Uh, we're doing some gospel tours. Uh, there is possibility on us doing another house party, uh, reunited with all our friends. So there's a lot of different things. I'm just looking forward to all of it coming, you know? I'm looking forward too, and I am all for another house party and seeing you there for sure. Thank you so yeah. much for sharing your story and your testimony. A blessing to have you with us. Yes, oh, thank you.